Welcome to Hammond Power Solutions Intermediate Training Module on the Temperature Rise of Distribution Transformers. At the end of this training module, you will understand what is temperature rise, temperature rise's relation to ambient temperature and overload capabilities, and how temperature rise works to affect the transformer's life. A transformer's core and coil losses generate heat. As load increases, so do losses. This heat causes temperatures to rise in the transformer's windings and core. The winding insulation systems are designed for this temperature rise and should last decades with proper use. The temperature rise reflects the maximum steady state winding temperatures at the full nameplate load, maximum ambient temperature, and includes parameters such as harmonic distortion for K-rated transformers. Smaller transformers typically require lower temperature rises due to less robust insulation systems. VPI, or vacuum pressure impregnation transformers, commonly utilizes a 220 degrees C Celsius insulation system. VPI transformers using this 220 degrees Celsius insulation system allows for a variety of temperature rise ratings, with the most common being 150 degrees Celsius. Additional ratings include 140 degrees Celsius, 115 degrees Celsius, and 80 degrees Celsius. Cast resin transformers limiting factor is the epoxy resin used to encapsulate the windings. In North America, insulation systems are typically rated for 185 degrees Celsius, while in the rest of the world, a lower 155 degrees Celsius system is much more common. UL cast resin transformers using 185 degrees Celsius rated insulation systems allows for the following temperature rise ratings. 115 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius, and 80 degrees Celsius. IEC cast resin transformers using the 155 degrees Celsius rated insulation system only allows for one main temperature rise rating, 80 degrees Celsius. This chart shows the various temperature rise options with VPI transformers. VPI transformers have the broadest options for dealing with high ambient temperatures and or offering several overload options. Adding low temperature rise options will also allow the transformer to run cooler over its lifetime and increase its service life. VPI transformers offer continuous overloads of up to 30% and can deal with ambient temperatures over 100 degrees Celsius. This chart shows the various temperature rise options with cast resin transformers. Cast resin transformers have fewer options for dealing with high ambient temperatures and or offering overload options. The IEC cast resin style for the most part doesn't offer a low temperature rise option. Like VPI, adding low temperature rise options will allow the transformer to run cooler over its lifetime and increase its service life. UL style cast resin transformers offer continuous overloads of up to 17% and can deal with ambient temperatures up to 75 degrees Celsius. A transformer is generally regarded to have 30 years of life per IEEE C57.96, although much longer lifespans are achieved. This statement covers VPI, cast resin, and liquid cooled transformers. Referring to the transformer's life hours and hotspot temperature graph for IEEE 57.96, it is easily shown that longer lifetimes can be achieved with cooler operating temperatures. A transformer is generally regarded to have 30 years of life per IEEE C57.96, although much longer lifespans are achieved. This statement covers VPI, cast resin, and liquid cooled transformers. Referring to the transformer's life hours and hotspot temperature graph for IEEE 57.96, it is easily shown that longer lifetimes can be achieved with cooler operating temperatures.